Hi, I'm Desiree Lorenas Lenneman, prime author of the manuscript How Does the Efficacy and Safety of Oral Air Compare to Other Products on the Market? Um, interestingly, surely here the comparison uh, between oral air and, and grass, like grass tech, the other grass uh, tablet on the market. The first part of the article uh, shows that the direct comparison of both tablets is not possible, but then we have a large table uh, analyzing one by one all trials available on both tablets on their quality. We make a, a detailed, great quality analysis of all data available. And then we can see that there's high quality evidence, surely, for uh, the pre co seasonal treatment of oral air starting two or four, four months uh, pre seasonally and continuing co seasonally, both for adults and also for children from four years onward. For Grasax Rastec, uh, there is a high quality evidence available for efficacy starting from two to four months pre-seasonally, but the best data are for four months pre-seasonally. Then if you go to the data year after year, um, they still go on being effective. And uh, after three years of pre-co-seasonal treatment with oral air or continuous season, uh, continuous treatment with grass tag, we still have two years later improvement in symptoms and medication score for both tablets, but with the difference in both um, uh, administration schedules. Here the data are only moderate to low moderate quality because there's some dropout over such a long trial. Well, then we go on um, analyzing specific situations. There's no uh, evidence for pre-seasonal treatment only. There is uh, some safety uh, evidence for co seasonal, so in-season starting of Grasax, there's no data for oral air there. And for polysensitized patients, both tablets show good improvement, even a little bit better in, in polysensitized patients during the pollen season, surely, not outside of the season. As of um, as for the, the start of onset of, of efficacy, there is already good data from the HORAC uh, Allergen Challenge Chamber study in 2007 showing at one month already statistically significant improvement in symptoms um, as compared to the placebo. Adverse events are present in quite a lot of patients, 60-70%, but almost all only locally, mild, and after a while they go away. There's a dropout rate more or less of 5% in both oral air and grass acts because of local adverse events. In a real-life study uh, with oral air, we saw a 9% dropout because of local adverse events. Um, so quite a lot of patients still stayed in, in on the treatment, even though they were not in a real trial. So I hope you liked the manuscript and uh, please have a look at it. There's a lot of data in it. Bye.